little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Come to the Vortex Club, where you too can get raped. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. I mean, she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway, see you at the game Friday, Max. Oh wait, is that the uh, the stuff? Is that the plot line from the previous episode where they they thought that a character was cheating on the, uh, them with another character, and that's why I couldn't get in the room because they were yelling at them? I think that's what's going on here. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously, but otters are cute. Go otters. What can we find around here? I assume we're just gonna go talk that to some people. So Poster. Seriously. Does anybody believe this shit? Stop being a loser. Go to the Vortex Hello, Club. Change. Your book project. What does it say? Second. I can't read it, really. Oh well. We'll be fine. I wonder if all of these characters have like written backstories or personalities or if they're just some of them are just models that just sit around. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Oh man, every word she says is just makes me want to club her face in. That's just... Some people have a special talent for that. Trevor surveys his domain. What do we find around? Oh. We get along great. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. How dare you report things to the person that's the obvious authority figure that is the basis of all security here? What are you, some kind of responsible person? How dare you? How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I'm going to encourage... I guess we all should these days. I'm going to encourage an atmosphere where people don't feel safe reporting that they don't feel safe. Because that's... That's a great environment for everybody. If you're a rapist. Justin always looks stoned. Is it, is it, is it the shaggy beard? It's the fact that he looks like Shaggy with glasses. I think that's why he always looks stoned. Let's head down the hallway. Oh look, it's asshole. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I don't want to fight, but where's Rachel? 
What, are you looking for her? Do you have any leads? Are you just hanging around waiting for someone else to take care of it? Or hoping that they won't? Well, anyway, go ape. Too late. Smiley face. Hey, girl. Sit down, science bra. I'm in the science- I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. So if I go- if I go take a look at the uh, map, I'll know where she- I'll know where Warren is around here. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. That was me with an MP3 player at school. That reminds me, I had to score some weed from Nathan. There's so many solicitors and people trying to get you to vote for various things. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Just gonna not talk about some of that. <laughs> is this my locker? Better be my my locker or this is really creepy. That was a long time to linger on that image. Oh, it's this guy. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. This is the guy that I wanted to look at the, uh, art, the art of. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? How long are you gonna spend in your locker? Stroking your, stroking your books. You gotta touch them all over the place so that they feel loved on the inside. And then they'll teach you better. That's, 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 how, that's how school works, right? <laughs> you can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nope. Well, they're having an episode. You want to discuss something here? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? If I uh, don't, you shouldn't be mentioning it in the first place because you're just spreading and making everything worse. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I mean, yeah, several times. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello. Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Well, that's one way to avoid us finishing what seemed like a kind of important conversation. What room is this? Science room, right. This is where we're looking for Warren. There he is. So he's, he, he, he could have heard all this. We were right outside the door. He's probably not going to acknowledge any of it. Ooh. Beakers. That's one of my photos. Bring me the brain, Igor. How do I take a picture of the be of the beakers? Is it different beakers? Are there other beakers in the classroom I should take pictures of? 
Miss Grant is so cool and smart. This can't be that hard. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. She immediately started talking like some sort of like conspiracy theorist. <laughs> also, why can't I just send the petition right now? Come on. Who cares? <laughs> Was a one-day petition. It was the it was the last day. Now now I can't sign it anymore. I'm right here. How can I offer? Just, just accuse me of things. Hello, Brooke. Brooke again. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Maybe she just doesn't open well up to people. Maybe you just need to push her a little bit, and you guys would be great friends. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. She got busted with the drone. Is there specific rules about not using it in the parking lot or just in general? Because she was using it in plain sight right in front of Miss Brooke. In the previous episode. Alright, Warren, I've done my rounds. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing! I need help with this chemical experiment. The Beatles. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Well, the good news is I don't need to know because I can just take it back. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I bet neither of them work, them work at all. I bet there's some third thing on the table that he hasn't considered yet. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hand. Asking me. Have that either a bit of potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. I'm gonna have to charge you for that. Can I take a picture yet? Still can't take a picture. Oh, is it because I don't have my... Do I not have my camera right now? Is that why? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. <laughs> that was just the weirdest reaction. That's a minor fail. Oh, is that bad? Were we not supposed to... Is there another option I'm supposed to pick? Hey, Warren. <laughs> Lots of potassium? Oh, God. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. 
I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. And then we went to the emergency room. She blinded me with science. Blinded by the light. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Is that gonna come up later? Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Bring me the brain, Igor. Is that all we have to do? Okay, I thought we might, like, talk about something. I guess we're done. Time to go to class? Asshole. Sure, okay. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. And that's the only time we're gonna mention or look at her ever in this, again in this game. She probably doesn't even have a voice actor. Then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. They're so nice to each other. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Well, now I don't like him. See how easy that was? He drawing people again. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. <laughs> Look at Hayden in the bottom corner. Just, <laughs> I have a camera. It's blowing my mind. Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Didn't you already draw her? Like, aren't you... I feel like you did that already. What's this? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Are these the same... Were these here before? Oh, there's a lighthouse. Arcadia Bay looks way more majestic here. Did it not before? What do you have against Arcadia Bay? How you doing, Alyssa? This is our silhouette photo op. Yeah, she's majestic and beautiful. We nailed it. My favorite part is how her brow just sort of sticks out of her weird lumpy shirt. Perfect. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> I mean, okay. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. I was literally standing in front of you. You know, you know I could hear you. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. And I just stood in that shot and she took the picture out of her anyway because Taylor's a terrible photographer. God damn it, I have to talk to these people to proceed, don't I? Do I have to bother? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. All right, anxiety time. What kind of bullshit are these people gonna do? Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we talked yesterday. I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Budding Ass sociopath. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And weird. Yeah, it's creepy when other people do it, huh? It's fine when I do it. Am I supposed to do a thing? Oh, hey, Warren. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. 
Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. <laughs> Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in mind. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. But I was gonna draw. Dismissed.